Time present Law Firm's Nine Overtime, the city's first and only high school basketball wrap-up show. Your host, Andy Morgan, Colin Beaver, and reporter Stephanie Shields. That Law Firm's Nine Overtime starts now. You know what time it is. It's Friday night. It's time to suit up. Welcome to another edition of Nine Overtime, the Borderlands' first and only high school basketball wrap-up show. I'm your host, Colin Deaver, and I'm riding solo like Jason Derulo tonight. Andy Morgan has the night off. Stephanie Shields will be joining us from our Game of the Week in just a moment. Speaking of, it was a clash of 6A Titans. The Coronado boys undefeated in District 1, 6A, making the trek east to take on Pebble Hills. The Smartens trying to get into a tie for first place. Again, 3-0 uh, Thunderbirds, 2-1 Pebble Hills. T-Birds have almost more size than anybody in this entire area. They were showing it off early. Garrett Levesque, the nice finish right there. But, you know, the Spartans, they got some talent, too. Daniel Cornell with a nice driving finish of his own. How about Hank Hayes? This guy, the tallest guy in the area, 6'9". I'm just going to pat the ball up into the air. It drops for Mr. Hayes. And how about Isaiah Davis going to UTSA for football? Gets that spin move to go. And check this out. You're a step past the hater like I'm Rondo. Hayes blocks it. Davis says, I'll lay that up and in. How about Hayes flying high for the two-handed jam? This one went back and forth until late. Jorge Villalobos, nice move. He finishes as Pebble Hills gets the win, 60 to 53. So they are three and one in district play. KTSM 9, Stephanie Shields caught up with the head coach of the Spartans after the game. Hey Colin, a big night for the Pebble Hills Spartans here, defeating Coronado 60 to 53. Now here with me, I have Pebble Hills head coach Arturo Escobar. Coach, uh, you know you guys were able to break Coronado's seven-game winning streak. How you, were you guys able to do that? Well, you know, Elijah Davis, he's a tone setter for us, and our guys came out, they battled, they competed, and uh, they played with some poise down the stretch. You know, it was a little close uh, going in at halftime, but five, like you said, the final stretch, you know, uh, what really made the difference there? Well, our team's hungry, you know, and uh, we talk about D.C., which is district championship. We talk about getting back to the playoffs, and our group's a motivated bunch, and uh, they wanted to go out there and uh, make sure we can uh, keep our goals where they're uh, able to be accomplished. Awesome. Now, what were you able to take from tonight's victory that, uh, you know, as you continue in district play? Well, to uh, have some poise down the stretch of a game and just to continue to play with a great level of intensity, energy, and uh, be able to match that with some poise. Awesome. Well, thank you, Coach, and congrats again on the Thanks, big win. We appreciate it. Awesome. Well, that wraps up our nine overtime game of the week. Again, Pebble Hills with the win 60 to 53 over Coronado. I'm Stephanie Shields. Colin, back to you. Hardest working lady in showbiz, Steph, thank you very much. Another strong team in District 16A. America sitting at 2-1 and one at Montwood looking for their first district win were the Rams. Early going Christian Martinez for America's inside. Montwood was game in this one, though. Jaden Ortiz, great pass up ahead to Jazz Jackson for the finish. But too much trailblazers in this one. Christian Nevarez passes to Jordan Hernandez. He knocks it down. America's wins this one, 49-32. So we have a three-way tie for first in District 16A between America's Pebble Hills and Coronado. Let's go Franklin and Socorro. The Cougars hosting the Bulldogs. These two tied for fourth in district at one and two. Gabe Luna put in Socorro up early with that uh, sweet silky jumper right there. But here come the Cougars. This guy knows a thing or two about a jump shot, but that is a fantastic finish by Roman Garcia, just adding to his career high in points. And then a wild shuffle for the rebound. Gabriel George Aguilar comes up with it, and he knocks it down. Franklin, your winner tonight, 46 to 33. Let's go to Class 5A now. Perhaps the best team in the entire area. Number 18, Andrus, undefeated in District 1, 5A. They were at El Paso High tonight. Early going, Devontae Owens in transition, finds his buddy, Christian Villegas, and he will put it up. And in El Paso High's Bobby S. Cudero there for the shot as well. And then how about Owens with the steal? And uh, yeah, my man can get up a little bit as well. Andrus gets the win, 58 to 34. Chapin out of the Northeast, receiving votes in all of the polls this week. They've been very good in year two under Rodney Lewis. They were hosting Austin High School tonight. Third quarter, check out Michael Herrera getting the steal, and then he's off to the races in transition. Fouled, bucket, and one. He would go to the free throw line and make it. How about that, though? Andrew or Austin would hang tough. Justin Solis with the bucket, but we love this guy. Alley-oop. K.J. Lewis hammers it home. Another dunk 
for the freshman phenom taking wins 62 to 41. We'll stay in the Northeast some more. Urban hosting Canatillo tonight. This one was competitive throughout. Urban, though, was down in the second quarter by as many as eight until right there. Santos Laca, the great finish up and under the defender. This guy can ball, though. Serves for Shell from Canatillo. Three of his game high, 26 points on the evening. And then Isaiah Chavez, the nice driving finish for the Eagles as they get the win, 65 to 55 on the other side of town. And how about one more in District 1, 5A? Burgess battling Bowie at Austin Heights. And I don't know why they're playing at Austin. Well, they're remodeling Burgess's gym. They'll have a new one next year. This guy will be back there next year. Tavoris Jones, sophomore, driving it in for the bucket. Bowie's Daniel Martinez right back at you with the three ball from the top of the key. But uh, too much Mustangs in this one. Angel Flores gets it to drop. Burgess wins this one. 38-37, a close one over at Austin High School tonight. Now over to District 2, 5A, league leading Eastwood playing at a pesky East Letter team with a couple of upsets on the season. Early going, Eastwood's Hernandez out of the corner, knocks down the three ball. That's one thing this team can do is shoot the basketball. Then it's Eastwood's Martinez once more inside, gets the bucket and the foul. East Letter's Lucas Flores trying to keep the minute, would drive and lay it up and in. However, Eastwood too strong in this one. They get the 10-point victory over the Indians, 50-40 on the night. Let's go uh, over to Bel Air now in their brand new gymnasium and they played a barn burner tonight as they hosted El Dorado. We'll go to the second half of this one. Bel Air's Jason Smith open for Hoy out of the corner. He knocks it down. He's fired up as the Highlanders take the lead. But El Dorado's Medina right there passes it to Clark again then bakes it in right there. This one back and forth the entire way. Bel Air's Tony Luna drains the jumper as Bel Air would get the win, 50-49, a fantastic one over at the home of the Highlanders. And now we'll go up to the Land of Enchantment, another good one, number eight, Onyate, playing at Gadsden this evening. Kobe Berrientos, oh, couple of dunks tonight, slamming it down, and he would ignite the home crowd with that one. And then Diego Hernandez beating the first quarter buzzer. That is tough, as they would say. But Moses Amaskua, Inside, gets the jumper to follow, and Yate wins a classic tonight. 57 to 55 over their rivals at Gadsden. Other final scores on the Bulls, boys' side. Del Valle over Riverside, 61-44. Hanks over Parkland, 56-47. Horizon over Eastlake, 63-56. Number 12, Clint over Emmanuel Christian, 61. Actually, that should be flipped. It's Emmanuel Christian, 61. Clint over 31, a uh, upset on the boys' side. Elsewhere, uh, Baven's a close winner over San Eli. Las Cruces blows out Alamogordo. Mayfield over Deming, 64-49. Carlsbad over Santa Teresa, 53-39. For all of tonight's results on the boys' side, head on over to our website, ktsm.com. Time out here on the program. When we return, we spotlight the girls. Our cameras were in a bunch of different gyms all over the area. You know you're watching 9 over time. KTSM 9 News, your local weather authority. Davis Crawford. Kicking off the new year right. This GMC Sierra is 11300 off MSRP. Well, that gives you a GMC Sierra 1500 for less than 30000 There's Crawford. 11300 off MSRP at Crawford Buick GMC. Only at the airport location. Montana and Airway. Let's go. Did you know there's an attorney who makes house calls? That's right. At Zant Law Firm, we have a mobile office. The attorney will go to your home to discuss your case. Have you been injured at a store or business? Have you suffered an injury in a car accident? Has your child been injured in a daycare? You don't need the largest law firm. You just need an experienced local lawyer who cares enough about your case to come to you. I'm Alexandria Zant. Call me today at 799-0993. Home of the mobile law office. Visit us online at ElPasoMobileLawyer.com. The 2020 Jeep Gladiator is in stock, and the Wrangler is the Motor Trend SUV of the year. And Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep has sold more Chryslers and Jeeps than anyone on the Southwest. Last year, over 4,000 of your friends and neighbors joined the Dick Poe family. And now, during Dick Poe's 92nd anniversary sale, we want to invite you to stop by and see why we are still number one. Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep, 6501 Montana. Dick Poe Chrysler Jeep saves you money. 
Coming soon, Dick Poe's used car America at 1801 Joe Battle. El Paso's own Dr. Daniel Lopez, specializing in cosmetic and general family dentistry. Healthy 32 Dental now offers dental implants, your best option to missing teeth. Invisalign clear orthodontic aligners and same-day crowns and veneers using 3D technology. We also offer a wide range of dental treatments, including wisdom teeth extractions, root canals, gum disease treatments, and partial and full dentures. Healthy 32 Dental. Hi, I'm Dr. Lopez. One appointment is all you need. Healthy smile, healthy life. Reach out and grab maximum savings during the Ford Grab the Cash Savings Event. Going on right now at Borman Ford in Las Cruces. Get a new 2020 Ford Explorer XLT for just $33,999. Save up to $11,000 from MSRP on every 2019 F-150 XLT in stock. Or get a new Ford Ranger XLT for only $31,753. Save big during the Ford Grab the Cash Event. Happening now on the lot or online at BormanFord.com. Monarch Building Services has been cleaning El Paso and area businesses since 1983. Monarch has an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau, from retail to medical, and now Monarch brings their A-plus cleaning services to your home. Monarch gets the job done. Hi, I'm Thomas Taylor, owner of Monarch Building Services. Let our team show you how we clean El Paso. We are Monarch. We clean El Paso. Kicking off the new year right. This 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultima has a huge 14087 in savings. There's Crawford. That's 14087 in savings at Crawford Buick GMC. Only at the airport location, Montana and Airway. Let's go. Welcome back to nine overtime. First, gotta say, shout out Marcus Juarez. The Clint boys did win 61 31 tonight. My bad. Now it's time for the girls. We're going to begin in District 1 6A. We'll start over at Montwood. The Lady Rams undefeated in District Action, hosting 3 and 1 Americas. So here we go. Americas and Amata gonna take it in for the layup early on. Montwood's Ruthie Soda Sodipe with the. Uh, Rebound and she will put it back up and in. But America's Alex Saraceras will pass to Kyla Collins for the three pointer. America's wins this one tonight 47 to 44. We'll stay on the east side now. Pebble Hills trying to keep pace with Montwood and America's. They were hosting Coronado tonight. Coronado's Mackenzie Stewart early going, gonna find Natalia Gomez for the three pointer. But too much Lady Spartans in this one. Victoria Aguayo lays it up and in as the Lady Spartans get the win tonight 41 to 26. We'll come over to the west side now. The Franklin Cougars trying to get back into the playoff picture against a surprising Socorro squad. Early going, Andrea Estrada running it up the court, lays it up and in for Socorro. And then a quick pass here, Amaris Valdez. She will drive it in, gets the job done as Franklin also gets the job done. They beat Socorro tonight, 40 to 27. Let's go to Class 5A, much like the boys. The Andrews girls have been solid this year. They ranked 24th. In Class 5A, playing at El Paso High tonight, and uh, they look the part out of the corner. Elias Scallion will knock down the three ball for Andrus as they were up big in that third quarter. Uvia Gordiel, nice running floater, though, for the El Paso Tigers, but again, too much Lady Eagles in this one. Sasha Garcia, the beautiful finish. Andrus, 61, El Paso High, 33. Let's go to the Northeast as the Chapin girls hosting Austin tonight. They were hanging on to the four seed in District 1, 5, 5A hosting the last pace Lady Panthers. Early going for Austin. Great passing. Jane Soto will lay it up and in. Nice big to big passing there. Check out Abigail Olivas for Chapin. Top rebound inside and the and one finish. And then she's going to find Giselle Vegas for three. Final score. Chapin wins it 49 to 26. The class 2-5A we go. A good one between El Dorado and Bel Air. Both these teams would be in the playoffs if the season ended today. Just like the boys' game, the girls' game was great. El Dorado up ahead. Ariana finishes with the catch and the layup. Bel Air was game all night, though. Vivian Guzman scores with the floater as the Highlanders get the win, 38-37. to once again, staying in 2-5A, Riverside hosting Del Valle tonight. These two teams trying to fight their way back into the playoff picture with three weeks left in the season. Riverside's Bustillos gets the jump at a fall right there. 
and then Del Valle's. Desiree Garcia, the catch and the jumper. Del Valle, a close one tonight. They get the win, 59 to 55. Other girls scores, Eastwood over Isleta. Hanks over Parkland, Bowie over Burgess, Canatillo over Irvin. Some more scores, mostly from the land of enchantment. Las Cruces over Alamogordo, Mayfield over Deming, and Oñate over Gadsden. Well, that's the girls. When we come back, it's my favorite part of the show. We've got our nine overtime play of the week. You are watching Nine Overtime. Hi, we're the Bible Hills Cheerleaders, and we watch Nine Overtime all the time. Thank you for choosing KTSM 9 News, putting local first. Did you know there's an attorney who makes house calls? That's right. At Zant Law Firm, we have a mobile office. The attorney will go to your home to discuss your case. Have you been injured at a store or business? Have you suffered an injury in a car accident? Has your child been injured in a daycare? You don't need the largest law firm. You just need an experienced local lawyer who cares enough about your case to come to you. I'm Alexandria Zant. Call me today at 799-0993. Home of the Mobile Law Office. Visit us online at ElPasoMobileLawyer.com. Where are you going? Rudolph Chevrolet. I-10 and Red Road. It was a double dog dare. Anna said I couldn't do a backflip, but I knew I could if I wanted to. I landed funny and fell off the trampoline. My wrist hurt really bad. My parents took me to the ER at Las Palmas del Sol Healthcare. The nurses were really nice, and the doctors helped me feel better fast. Mom and Dad felt better, too. I'm glad they chose Las Palmas del Sol Healthcare. This is the Chevy Silverado with the world's first invisible trailer. Invisible trailer? Hop in. Silverado offers an optional technology package with up to 15 different views, including one enhanced view that makes your trailer appear invisible. Wow. That's pretty That's sweet. Cool. Where's the trailer, though? Get 0% financing for 72 months on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, eligible GM card members get $1,000 in bonus earnings. That's on top of most other offers. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. What does it take to be great? Great discipline. Great commitment. Great passion. A great love for the game. Yeah. All of that and great rest. The Athlete's Choice Collection with B-Fit technology from Denver Mattress. Engineered for optimal rest, recovery, and performance. Rudolph Volkswagen, located at I-10 and Red Road. Follow KTSM 9 News on Instagram. Putting local first. Time. It's everyone's favorite segment. Our play of the week always takes care of itself. So let's get right to it. This kid has been all over our play of the week pretty much every week. Chapin's KJ Lewis. This time we got a pair of them. Gets the block on one end, and then uh, how about a one-handed tomahawk jam? The second one though is even better. Chapin in transition passes it to his buddy. Oh yeah, lob it right back to me. He will throw it down. Yeah, you guys, you gotta get him, you gotta dethrone him out of his play of the week slot, everyone else. Get him out of there. All right, let's take a look at some of the other games that we'll be spotlighting next week. Andrus Boys at Chapin, that could be our game of the week. Calling it now. Las Cruces at Gadsden also could be pretty good. Clint San Elizario, Hanks at Eastwood. As for the girls, Coronado and Franklin, Andrus Chapin, Hanks, Eastwood, Pebble Hills, and Montwood. Once again, it's been a great week for nine overtime. This is week four. We're back next week with week five. We will have a full crew. Andy Morgan, myself, and Steph Shields will be back. Have a great week.